say good morning oh my gosh you guys it's beautiful out already and it's only 10 a.m like it's gorgeous yesterday was sunny but it wasn't warm out like today <sighs> me and the babies can finally sit outside again like last week catch some sun good morning everybody ignore the dishes i'm about to wash them okay um happy friday that would have been really embarrassing if it wasn't friday um, I was actually just outside with Eloise taking her potty. I'm looking ratchet. I'm in my pajamas. No makeup. Like, people keep catching me outside like this. <laughs> tis what it is. This is quarantine life. And I see a car coming down our street. And I'm like, that car kind of looks familiar. But I didn't think much of it because I was like, nah. And I just like looked the other way because the mail was coming down the road. And I was waiting to get it out of our mailbox. And then I turn back around to the car coming this way, and it's my friend Jamie. I'm like, I knew it, because I was like, it looks like Jamie's car, but I was like, nah, what, you know what in the world? And it was my friend Jamie coming down the street. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I busted her. I think she was planning on doing like a, um, like a delivery drop off, a social distancing delivery, but I was outside, so I busted her, and I went up to her window. She rolled it down, and you guys, look what she was um, out delivering. For like me. the prettiest rose bush ever. How beautiful is that? Enjoying my time with it now. You know, before David takes it over and does his green thumb thing with it. Oh my gosh, how beautiful! Um, she dropped off this little housekeeping spring magazine and to make it even better you guys sorry i already put it in the fridge she dropped off the new coffee mate funfetti creamer i am so excited i went to the store the other day i saw this on um facebook but i didn't think that it was like out yet i don't really know because i remember i glanced for it and didn't see it but jamie got it and she brought me one. Oh my gosh you guys and i haven't um brewed my coffee yet either i was going to as soon as i came inside but that was the sweetest thing jamie if you ever see this video thank you so much she looked so cute she was out there in her makeup and her cute little outfit and i'm like <laughs> but oh my gosh that was literally the sweetest thing little rose bush and creamer can't wait to read this little magazine anywho let's brew some coffee figured i would update you guys while i brew my coffee because i don't think i told y'all last night before I ended the vlog. But um, last night, skincare wise, and I can go to my bathroom later and show you guys. I'm just trying to get this coffee brewing because I'm ready. But last night I washed my face as I normally would with my Mario Acne Cleanser, which I'm actually almost out of. And I've been trying to look into a new cleanser to buy um, like soon, soon, because that one is gonna be out in just a couple of days and after trying to you know research better ingredients and things like that as you guys know um so I used my acne cleanser like I always do for the most part and then um after that yeah after that I used my hyaluronic acid um serum from the ordinary because if you're going to be using an oil you're supposed to oh man I need a garbage bag if you're going to be using an oil, you have to do serums, then oils. And I decided I wanted to use my serum last night. So once I washed my face, I did the hyaluronic acid serum. And then I let that, you know, set in for a minute or two, like, you know, to get the tackiness gone and let it absorb. And then I went in with the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil, which that was my first time using it. And at first it was a really weird feeling because it's so greasy, but it is the oil, you know. Um, so I use that and like this morning my skin doesn't feel bad. It just feels like really hydrated and moisturized. Um, I mean, if you touch my skin, there's still like, you feel it, but it's like not sitting on the skin, you know, like it's absorbed. But I tried the rose hip seed oil for the first time and I'm trying to figure out when I want to try the retinol, um, out. I tend to use my Almond Joy creamer this morning, um, as I still have hazelnut left. But now I have the fun fatty one and I'm like, dude, I'm just going to drink like a million cups of coffee and drink all my creamers. <laughs> but um, I'm seriously stoked about trying that fun fatty one because I think actually this morning I saw it online again and I was like, dang, I really want to try that. So might have a cup of Almond Joy, might have a cup of fun fatty 
and when digging through the fridge last night tossing some things out i found a caramel creamer that i thought i had finished and didn't so y'all see what i'm saying about having lots of creamers and things like that i just love coffee you better leave that garden alone your daddy's gonna get you y'all 80 degrees in march I will take it. I'm sitting on a towel out here, social distancing, trying to catch some sun. Eloise is up there trying to get into everything under the sun. Oh, y'all, it is nice out today. Love it. They're getting so bored with me. I was like, we gotta go outside for rec time. <laughs> Bella, bring me your bone, come on. Hey, little bit. Let me see. Thank you. Go long. Go long. Go long. Oh, you don't trust me, huh? Oh, that was a terrible throw. <laughs> that was with my left hand. Practicing social distancing. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, okay. Um, it's been kind of a long, rough day. I don't really want to talk about it right now or get into it. Um, I just haven't vlogged in a few hours, but I did just tune into the news update at four where the governor officially put us under a stay at home order, which is technically what I've already been doing, but you know, some people haven't been. Um, so pretty much necessity places are staying open, grocery stores, gas stations, mail carriers, things like that. Um, or your job if your job is working. I don't know if this affects David or not. That was kind of weird. They didn't touch on that. So, I mean, they did say, like, obviously, you know, you can work if you work. But it didn't touch on, like, the whole takeout only thing or maybe reduced hours. So, I don't really know about that extent of it. But now we are officially under a stay-at-home order. So, hopefully, people who haven't already been doing this will now do it. And that's where we're at right now. Um, I'm pretty hungry. I might cook dinner early tonight. Um, I ate a late lunch, but it was kind of a smaller lunch. I ate some more leftover chicken pot pie, but I'm ready to cook already. I'm going to give it a little while, and then I'm going to get dinner going. But I'm just here with Eloise relaxing. Bella's down there chilling. All right, so I am just working on dinner. It's actually going to be ready in hopefully about 10 minutes. I have... A meatloaf in the oven which is one of my absolute favorites and then also phone's charging let me unplug that i'm um cooking meatloaf in the oven and then i'm also just gonna do some mac and cheese with it tonight this is my favorite mac and cheese if i'm wanting to do something like a little bit fancier because i love the ones that are in like the tall skinny box from craft or whatever that are like a dollar they're super yummy but if i'm wanting like a bougie or mac and cheese this the deluxe is what I get. Um, I got hooked on this stuff when I got my um, braces put on and I've loved it ever since. And then I'm also just heating up leftover um, corn from last night's dinner. I made some corn to go with the tacos. But yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Just getting ready to eat. I'm pretty hungry. Normally when I cook meatloaf, I'll like saute some broccoli like in the skillet or I'll do some mashed potatoes or like garlic and oil noodles, stuff like that. Um, but last night I had David pick what he wanted for dinner again tonight and at first he said chicken, then he changed his mind and said actually do meatloaf and I was telling him you know, about different sides that I could make or um, heat up or whatever and he was like some mac and cheese with some meatloaf like that sounds good and so I'm doing mac and cheese tonight to kind of change things up yes, a bit. Yes you guys, dinner is ready. I have my leftover corn here. I just put a little bit of um, salt and pepper in it. I have my mac and cheese and my meatloaf. I'm not trying to brag, but I make a pretty mean meatloaf. Not gonna lie. We're so spoiled. She said, I just wanna be rubbed. I just wanna be rubbed. <laughs> it was not practical. What does that even mean? No, I don't care. Who kissed you? I don't remember. Spoiled rotten. Did you? Say good morning. It's breakfast time for little Miss Eloise, Mr. Theodore, and Mr. Simon. Well, good morning, everybody. Y'all know what time it is. It's coffee time. 
the babies both went out to potty they both just had breakfast and now i'm getting ready to brew some coffee it's literally another gorgeous day it already feels amazing out i'm so happy that we're actually getting some spring weather because honestly you never know with the seasons um sometimes we skip spring and literally dive uh what do they call it head first dive head first into summer so that stinks because you don't get that nice like mild kind of spring weather just like sometimes we skip fall and we hit straight cold of winter so it's been nice having this spring weather so far literally a gorgeous day i'm looking forward to sitting outside some more today i'm gonna go over to mom's and hang out for a little bit um probably like around lunch so i can be back for when david gets his work break and then you know to get dinner started and all but yeah it's coffee o'clock right now that's what we do when all right so hey 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 why do you always try to lick my coffee cup I just told you no, and you went right back over there. Rotten. Evil. <laughs> um, I'm about to brush my greasy hair. Don't worry, everybody. I am going to wash it tonight. Um, I'm about to go um, wash my face, though. What did I even just say? I don't know. I'm about to wash my face and get my teeth brushed mm -hmm. and do the little bit of dishes that were left from dinner last night. Then I'm probably going to take the dogs out for a little bit and sit outside. And then I'm going to go to mom's for a little while. Um, I did just place an order with Chewy. I love Chewy, you guys. Um, it kind of depends on the situation. I used to always order um, the dog's food. But lately, I've been buying it in store. Um, but I pretty much use Chewy for the pig stuff, for... Um, a good bit of like their toys. I use it for, I mean, everything. Their Christmas presents, but the I, I already said the pig food, didn't I? Um, I love Chewy. Normally, they have um, free one to two day shipping if you spend $50. And it's always super, super fast and I easily spend $50 each time. Um, but even if you don't, like shipping's only $4.95. You can't beat that because um, I'm kind of stingy when it comes to like shipping if I'm going to be shopping online. But um there was an announcement saying, hey, stop, that um, orders are taking longer than normal to be processed and shipped out just with everything going on with this virus. And today is Saturday, so we'll see. But like it used to be I could place an order at like eight o'clock at night, for example, and I would get an email like two, three hours later saying that it had been shipped like crazy fast. We'll see seeing how today is Saturday. Like I said, tomorrow's Sunday, so mail won't be running um, excuse you, you're such a baby, you just want to be rubbed all the time, like, I feel like, um, ordering today at the time that it is, it could either come Monday or Tuesday, but with things being behind, who knows when it's gonna come, that's why I wanted to go ahead and get the order placed, found some other stuff I wanted to get for the babies, like, some surprises, um, because I'm like, I could either spend five dollars on shipping, or I could spend five dollars and get a dog toy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got some dog toys. Just napping. Just napping. Baby's out for a little bit. It's so nice out today, you guys. There's a little bit of breeze. Yesterday was way warmer. Like, today's warm. Don't get me wrong. I'm still in, like, shorts and all. But, um, yesterday was definitely warmer, and we didn't have this nice cool breeze. But I got the babies outside for about 15 minutes. Just gonna catch some sun for a little bit. Let them get some fresh air. And I've only been out here, like, 10 minutes, and it's already getting warmer. Like... I love this weather. The dogs love this weather. Normally I'm at work, so I don't get to go outside a whole lot unless it's on the weekends. But like, this is so nice and I'm glad they're having like extra time to be outside and just having a good day. Okay, so I just pulled in from mom and dad's house. <laughs> I took my lunch over there um, to eat because I was like hungry and it was time for me to eat when I was gonna leave. So I decided I'd eat over there. And then mom ended up giving me like some mandarin oranges, some spaghetti sauce. I got some more of my dad's homemade barbecue sauce that he makes. So I ended up coming home with a little goodie bag and a partial bottle of Lysol, you guys. I have the forbidden, forbidden goods? I don't know, basically you can't find it. Forbidden is not the word 
but I just pulled in. I'm about to go in, get the dogs out, give Eloise lunch. Um, it's hot. Um, Mom and I sat inside talking for a little bit, and then me, Mom, and Dad sat outside for a long time in the sun. Maybe this will be my year to get a tan. I like hardly tan anymore because I work so much and whatnot, and I'm not in the sun enough to really get color. But I used to get so dark, but while I'm in quarantine, while I'm in quarantine, like what else is there to do, you know? So I've been sitting outside here and there as you guys have been seeing and my skin is so fair that I'm hoping I didn't like burn today, but I feel like I definitely got some color. Anywho, time to go in the house. Eloise like chewed up my sunglasses last week or something and I'm still trying to make them work because it's so bright out here. Y'all, it is so hot and David is mowing the grass. <laughs> like he loves doing yard work he wants to do something during the week he does it like on his hour break <laughs> like so he takes what time he can get you know but he's literally mowing the grass in this heat all right all right so dinner tonight i don't know why i'm on the front camera i was actually about to clean the pig's cage but right when the mat was finally done in the dryer dinner was like 10 minutes away from being done so i'm gonna have to actually do that after i eat um, but I put together a little salad, and as you guys can see, I did put a little bit of shredded sharp cheddar, a little bit of chicken, and then also I figured I'd um, cut up a couple of these pickled onions from last week, like a little smaller, and I put some of those on top. But not a lot, but just a little bit to give it a little bit of flavor. So I'm having a side salad, and then I cooked Parmesan shake and bake chicken along with some garlic and oil noodles. Sorry, we're under the light now. So I'm about to sit down and eat. I'm excited. Yes, I'm very excited. You guys like my fine china that I've been using this week? Oh my goodness, you guys. I feel so much better right now. I sat outside a lot today, <laughs> as you guys know, and my hair was already so greasy. So I had it in a ponytail all day and a hat on. And yeah, so sweaty, greasy, just ready for my shower. I just washed and dried my hair. I'm feeling like a whole new girl 